Hey, in this video, we're going to learn how to query objects using Hibernate. So far in our little checklist, we've done the create objects. We also learned how to read an object based on the um, primary key. But in this video, we're actually going to learn how to do a query on objects that meet certain conditions. All right, so Hibernate has a query language for retrieving objects. It's very similar in nature to SQL. Um, in the Hibernate world, they call it HQL for Hibernate Query Language. And you get to query using like where, like, order by joins, all the normal stuff you'd normally see in the SQL language. And I'll show you some examples here of using the HQL language. So very basic example. This is almost like doing your select star from a table. Um, here, you can actually create a query to retrieve all students. So I'll basically say session dot create query and then I'll say from student and then I'll give a dot list. So from student means give me a list of all student objects that are stored in the database. And that's really all you have to do. There's no need to say select star from student. Uh, HQL is very um, concise. And here we simply say from student and it'll give you a list of student objects that are already pre-populated with the data. Now, you may also want to say, well, I don't want all students. Um, I only want the students who, who have the last name of Doe or Darby or um, I don't know, some other last name. So here I could say create query from student. And you can also make use of an alias S where S dot last name equals Doe. So here this will only give you students from the table where their last name is equal to Doe. And note here when you say dot last name, it's actual actually an object property, not the actual column name. So here you refer to everything using the object notation and the object properties. So note here student, that's the object name. Um, S dot last name is a property of that object. Now you can also make use of predicates. Um, like you could say, all right, um, I want to search for students that have last name of Doe or first name of Daffy. So again, the query is very simple, very straightforward, right? Um, so where S dot last name equals Doe or S dot first name equals Daffy and you do a dot list and that's it. So very similar to doing an SQL query. And also um, you can make use of a uh, like predicate. So um, in this example, I want to get a list of all students whose email address ends in love to code. So we can use the like predicate along with the percent wildcard. So I have s dot email like and then I'll do percent love to code dot com. So again, all students whose email address ends in love to code dot com. And that's it. That's the basics there on making use of HQL. So what I'll do in the next video here is I will actually move into Eclipse and um, I'll actually write some code using this H HQL and uh, you can see how it works. So. Hold tight and um, I'll see you in the next video.